Yo, welcome to part one of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the PlayStation 1. This won't be a 100% guide, but it probably won't be far off. There are three wizard cards I will not be able to get, as they are now and impossible to get. Uh, I'll tell you what those are when we get to the part where you, have, where you can get them, but uh, anyway. Well, I th these are actually, well basically the shit games, but uh, I like them because mainly because of like nostalgia because I remember playing this a lot when I was younger so yeah anyway uh, I'm gonna be quite well discussed you know there was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening as unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys until that fateful day when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from Platform 9 and 3 quarters and left the Muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath the sorting hat hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? Said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! This is possibly the most boring bit of the entire game, talking to Dumbledore Welcome at the beginning. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door, but... Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone. Uh, Alright, I'm back now. Um, after some boring cutscene bit. Um, uh, so yeah. Skids. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. Proposal of marriage. There are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just any. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll, we'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. <laughs> and now we're going to get the first wizard card that you can possibly get in this secret passage here. Woom. Merlin. Now, I've played the beginning of this game so many times, I actually know the entire dialogue of this first few minutes, this first five minutes basically. Well, see, the graphics are so glitchy, which was, I was trying to show Tom this at the time, how gl glitchy the graf graf how glitchy the graphics are in this game, so. No, nah, that's boring. We don't need to know that. Yeah, you fail. If you lose any stamina, grab a chocolate frog 
This will give you back some energy. <laughs> well, I'm just going to save for you. And then this part will be over with. <laughs> so, anyway, that's the end of part one. Uh, this is only a short part, just basically an introductory part to the fundamentals of the game. So.